I am Rabbi Charlie Beginsky from Liberal Judaism. This week, the Jewish community is celebrating Passover. It is perhaps the most widely observed holiday by Jews of the entire year. And many families have long-standing beloved traditions that have been passed down from generation to generation. But at the heart of the holiday is the telling of the story of the Exodus from Egypt, which happens at the Seder meal. This year, many families will be doing this virtually with family and friends and creating new traditions at their Seder. But for those who cannot access the internet, it may be a particularly lonely time. Perhaps imagine being on your own for Christmas or an important birthday. What are the moments you would miss? There are 15 steps to the Seder and here are 15 liberal rabbis taking us through those moments in a way that can allow us all to feel we have completed this tradition. Over to you, Rabbi Monique Meyer. Ushering in the festival with lighting the candles. Baruch Atadonai, Eloheinu Melech Alam, Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvot Tov, V'tzivanu Lahad Lake Ner Yom Tov. We praise you, eternal God, sovereign of the universe. You sanctify us by your commandments and enjoin us to kindle the festival lights. And now on to Rabbi Margaret Jacobi. With Kadesh, sanctification or making holy, we bless the first of four glasses of wine or grape juice, which symbolize our joy and the promise of redemption. Say to the Israelites, I am the Eternal One, and I will release you from Egyptian oppression. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam, Pri HaKafen. And now on to Rabbi Aaron Goldstein. Karpas, green herbs, typically parsley, reminds us of springtime, rebirth, a renewal. In the words of Rabbi John Rayner, Zichron Olivracha, when earth is freed from winter's yoke, when lambs are born and trees turn green, then we recall our liberation from Egypt's bondage one such springtime long ago. For us too may this be a season of renewal, of life and growth, of hope and love. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei pari ha'adamah. And now on to Rabbi Jackie Tabik. Ha'alach ma'anya. This matzah which I hold up is called the bread of affliction. It reminds us of our slavery in Egypt and prompts us to think about what enslaves us now. Later, this matzah becomes the symbol of freedom. This year, We are so very conscious of the virus that has limited our freedom to enjoy being with family and friends and look forward to a time when we can freely embrace each other once more. Tonight at our Seder we will drink four cups of wine in remembrance of the four promises of redemption made by God to Moses in the wilderness. I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians I will deliver you from their bondage. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and great judgments. I will take you to me for a people, and I will be your God. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech alam, Borei pari hagafen. And now on to Rabbi Rene Pfetzel. Agada. Narrative or story. Every year we tell the story of our ancestors who left the narrow places, Mitzarim of Egypt, Mitzrayim, to gain their freedom, a journey from darkness to light, from bondage to liberation. And every year we are reenacting this process of liberation. And now over to student rabbi Gabriel Weber. The lamb shank bone. On the night of the Exodus, every Israelite family sacrificed a lamb. This is represented today by a lamb's shank bone at the Seder. But what do we do if we can't find a lamb bone? 1500 years ago, the rabbis ruled that beetroot was an acceptable alternative. This year, when supplies are hard to come by, it's reassuring to know that our ancestors also faced these difficulties. Even without a lamb bone, we can connect with our past. Now over to Rabbi Richard Jacobi. This year we remember that it is more important to save lives than to keep our rules of Pesach. 
We take our matzah or whatever we are using because of this special circumstance and say two blessings. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedishanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al achilat matzah. And now to Rabbi Ariel Friedlander. Why do we eat marol, bitter herbs? No, simply because God commanded us to do it. The Haggadah quotes from the Torah, Vayimararu et chayehem ba'avodah kasha, they embittered their lives with hard work. So the bitter taste of the herbs reminds us of the bitterness of our people's slavery in Egypt. For us today, we must remember that bitterness is part of life and things that taste bitter can still have value. We must try not to be consumed by bitterness, but eat our portion with understanding. Rabbi Elana Delal. Korach, a sandwich of maror, bitter herbs, and choroset, the sweet apple and nut mixture, is placed between two pieces of matzah. This ritual was attributed to the sage Hillel who lived in the first century and is the first literary account of a sandwich. The Hillel sandwich, the combination of the bitter and the sweet, is emblematic of many chapters of Jewish history, acknowledging the suffering alongside the redemption. On to Rabbi Danny Rich. Hi, this is Liberal Judaism Rabbi Danny Rich. The Seder plate contains a lamb bone and roasted egg, recording the festival sacrifice in the Jerusalem temple, the bitter herbs and salt water to recreate the tears of slavery, and a sweet paste called haroset. At Passover, we lean when we eat, even slouch, as a reminder that in Roman times, freemen ate lying on couches. We lean, thankful that we are free. Now to Liberal Rabbi Andrew Goldstein. The twelfth stage of the Seder is Safun, which means hidden. We know it as the Afikomen, one of the fun moments when the children search for what is hidden. The Afikomen starts the second half of the Seder, which looks to the future. This year, we are uncertain when the plague of coronavirus will end, but as with the Exodus story, end it will, and life return to freedom and health. Bim he rave soon and in our days. And now, Rabbi Leah Mulstein. The Barech section, during which we recite the Birkat Hamazon, Grace After Meal, takes on special meaning as we experience that not all food is readily available. We have eaten and been satisfied. Help us to be responsive to the needs of others. Help to remove hunger and want from our world. Next, on to Rabbi Yuval Kevin. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Hallel is a praise of God, but it is also a cry to help in time of trouble. And we read in the Haggadah, In my distress I called out to God, who answered me and set me free. I shall not die but live to tell of God's deeds. And now for Rabbi Cantor, Gershon Silins. We now turn to Nirza, the conclusion of our Seder. Chasal Sidur Pesach Kehil Chato, Kechol Mishpato Vechukato, Kasher Zachinu Lesaberoto. Kasher zachinu l'seder oto, keniz kehel pesach le'atid lavo. Our seder is now completed. We have followed the order, told the story, performed the rites, prayed the prayers, and sung the songs. Lashana haba'a birushalayim, next year in Jerusalem. Lashana haba'a kol chay nigal. Next year in a world where all are free.